love is a many splendor thing, especially when we consider that his name is Jesus. Those who love are born of God and know him because he is love. So it's time for the revolution, the dove of love's revolution, for the kingdom age to begin, uh, small beginnings. But yet, if the station is not taken to heart and his fire, if it does not burn in your heart, uh, this world could never have a kingdom age of peace. So it's time to listen to the Lord. Let his dove of love sit on your head and perch there because love is the answer to all the questions of hard to understand things if we want to get ahead. So praise the Lord and thank him everlastingly. Uh, let your life be a constant thanksgiving for all the many splendid things that he has done and is doing and shall do. Let those following his brightest light of the latter day crescent sickle and cross ablaze of Chrislam. Praise he that is the most revered one the good and the beautiful, for he alone is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. And Chrislam is the name of Israel once they received the kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31. Because in the latter days, the Lord God is the God of all families of Israel, and all shall know him from the least to the greatest of all mankind. And as it is written, as it was in the beginning, so has it come to pass at the end. For with benevolence, the Lord is standing tall, mighty to be feared uh, for all people of hatefulness, because the Lord God ablaze with the praise that he deserves. Uh, his glory shall cover this earth as waters cover the sea, as grass cover the lands, as sands cover the most desolate of deserts. And in the desert of the ignorance uh, shall the Lord now make a way where there has seemed to be no way. For with his benevolence, people shall never give up hope since he is whispering that he will do some great things through his empowering name of love abounding. Every knee shall bow at Christ's name of love. Every tongue shall confess him. And let the people of his prophet of prophets come to know that our real Lord God is the eternal treasure of excellence, the excellence of treasure who has his mightiest hand upon them, and his arm is not too short to save, for he is our Savior, Redeemer, King. So always lift up his holy names for all to embrace. So love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Come then, leave the safety of the shores. Come out to the deep, for that is where he is. He is the treasure of excellence and the priceless pearl of great reward. And Christ called deep, calls unto deep. And he is the Lord God of equality amongst all men. All men, all created people have known him when we're babies, when we're children, because Jesus said that in order to be born again, we must be as little children with our love alive moving forward. But realize that if we're going two steps forward, one step back, we are still always going in the right direction and praise him that he is always, always has been married to the backslider with us undying love and everlasting love. So it's time for brand new songs to be sung, and it's time. So praise ye that holy source and measure of the ages, for he alone is the framer of times, who desires all of his children of ob obedience to never live in fear, but rather to let their perfect love cast out fear as they forgive and forget the pains that have been rendered unto them by the hateful children of ignorance who point and accuse and condemn. Uh, these are the days of the power of the holy people being shattered because God 
loves us all equally. Only he can now rid the earth from all satanic gross darkness that has covered all mankind, for he is the son of love arising with healing in his wing, our son of righteousness. And know in this hour that uh, our righteousness is as filthy rags before his transcendent love, and so is all of our understandings of his word, good, bad, or otherwise, makes no difference, because he was slain before the foundation of the earth uh, for all people of love. And as believers lovingly gaze heavenwards, that carpenter of the ages whose tongue is the rod of his mouth, the hammer of God, he has decreed that all things should be torn down first before the renovation of Acts 3.21 comes. He is kept in reserve in heaven until the restoration kicks in. And if it does not, this earth would be destroyed by the total oblivion that he foretold in Matthew 24, 22. But he said that unless his word came forth in me to cut time short, only God could cut time short, people, that unless that happened, no flesh could be saved. And cutting time short is by giving his kingdom age covenant that was correctly written to Israel and all mankind to straighten up all distortionality so that the wise may shine as the stars. And for that reason, uh, with great happiness, the Lord, uh, he says to all, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity, never remember it again. Sending Satan to the pit for a thousand years, Daniel 12, 1, in the days of the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who has been given the decoding of prophecy so that we can understand that prophecy as Jonah 3, uh, dictates uh, is only conditional if we will meet the conditions and it is written in the word of God in the latter days this shall be considered that our Lord God is arising and resounding his word of Jeremiah 30 24 saying to one and all of us that if we will give him the desire of his heart's greatest desire that he will cut time short and spare us from the torture and the horror yet to come. And as believers of love lovingly gazed heavenwards, he'll re also be reminding them that we were made to worship him because he is the star of stars and the star of Bethlehem and we were created as stars also, fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. Uh, he is God in the flesh, Emmanuel. So it's time that we need to restore a loving relationship with him. And uh, if we will only take time to, to uh, seek his face uh, and understand why his many names of grandness should only be uh, esteemed and held high by all people, for it's time for his glory to resound over the circle of earth so that it comes forth as a, a great deluge of heaven's adoration for one and all of us. So let all people now exalt the titles of our Lord of always, for he alone is the richest wealth of magnificence, the richness of marvel, and the professor of all things visible and invisible, who cleanses his loving children from every evil thought, word, and deed, like a swift rushing mighty wind so easily cleanses the plain so let the real god be true and let all god let all men be liars for he is most mighty in his deeds loving in his provisions and exceedingly merciful in de dishing out his justice unto those who are just and unjust alike so it's time for all men to start walking in peace as it is foretold in micah 4 and it's time for all people to beat the sword of the Spirit into the sickle of the revealed unconditionality of his love for all, not committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. For it is written, all sin shall be forgiven mankind, including sin against Christ our Lord. He said so. The only sin not forgiven is to let our love die, to let it wax cold, and that's a slow spiritual suicide. Even someone like Anton LaVey did not commit that sin. 
even though he wrote the Book of Satan. He's got a good video out called uh, The Deathbed Confession of Anton LaVey. His heart was energized by the fire of the Lord, flaming his faint flames of love within Anton. And he came to meet our beloved love of the ages. And he was like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? But it was too late. He had already written the Satanic uh, Bible. And, uh, but he was forgiven. And he is a new man knowing that there is a God. Anton can never tell you there is no God. He's met him now. And so it's time for all people to walk in peace. And all lovers of love whom is our risen Lord Jesus. Uh, we need to have an appreciation for his holiest names to allow the Lord's uh, supernatural patience to come forth, to become a mantle of our own dedication. These are the days of COVID through the trial of all flesh come to bring God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of temptation not to change. So if we will hear with patient ears, uh, people can stand tall and be like the tallest of mountains so that we never have to be cast down by the foulest winds of hypocrisy coming from the devil who has now been removed and banished in the days of Daniel 12, 1. Michael has stood up for the people. And when the Lord God speaks to the hearts of his own who are hurting, he feels their pain within his own heart and that the speller of agony shall heal them, those hearts, for he is the destroyer of demons, who shall always be the purest pure light and searcher of hearts that badly needs those to be mended by him. For he arises with uh, under his wing healing for the nations as he arises as the son of love in uh, Isaiah 60. So for all those obeying our Lord God Almighty, his great love shall continually be finding people where they are since the, the most beautiful light of his everlasting love shall always be shining on them. No matter how much darkness has surrounded their hearts, as long as they let not that light of love in their heart to go out, blaspheme of the Holy Spirit to let God in us die because our love is God in us. So praise the Lord that all people may find increasing peace within he who is the flawless judge of all and blessed be all names of that nourisher and overseer of his own all throughout the plenty of their souls for his rushing streams of spiritual abundance flowing evermore shall be flowing as love unleashed a uh, great ocean of his adoration within our chests for it's time for the great re revival let the jubilee of jubilees begin and the time of the great unending celebration and blessed be the mighty name of that impeccable authority as he finds his needful children within desert spiritual places being all worn bruised and battered but yet he sends us comfort for with every earthly blessing his people of love speak upon uh, him in return that champion of amazement shall bring forth his very best heavenly blessings to cover them as a loving flood of his greatest falling mercies and grace i am elijah and take it from me i have experienced this grace i should have been dead long ago and with every blessing received from he who is their invaluable prize endless uh, they shall evermore continually be turning their highest praises back to our almighty great I am for they'll come to understand that he will never forsake them and never cast them away uh, even when the darkest darkness closes in on them if they let their light of love keep burning as when their little children alive in motion people I, even my own family i've not liked some of my own family sometimes but i always love them uh there's people i meet all the time i don't like this one but i love them there's a difference and this is the kingdom age mentality that must arise a latrum to the highest heavens so it's time that people shall come to say blessed be the name of he who is dependability of perfection our beloved reliability of all infinity, 
is he and know that the lord god has always set uh, always holds one set of people in check by means of another if this was not his will the earth would be full of mischief but his love is for all in boundless measure surah 2 25 and so now comes dynamite from the maple land that shall ignite the earth from the north as it was foretold in Isaiah 41 a revelation of Christ's absolute power of love that is absolute and old people of the book hear the words of Muhammad and understand that no one has any ground to stand upon unless they're standing fast by the law the gospel and all revelation coming unto them by our Lord of love who brings forth the fires of his charity and benevolence uh, as the a flaming pillar of fire to lead us in the darkest nights through to the other side and by three methods modern man may now receive wisdom first by the reflection on God's word of love which is the noblest second by imitation which is the easiest and thirdly by their own bitter experiences and during the dove of love's swift descent unto men's hearts, every movement of God's force of goodness shall now cause waves and flashes, and there shall be some incredible sparks of brilliance coming from his end-time fire of love, which shall burst forth as a supernova to prepare new spiritual wildfire of his refiner's fire foretold for these latter days brought by the end-time Elijah task servant of love uh, and it'll spread his most fiery flames of passion as God's message of love hope and peace echoes around the earth so let God's elect of love his faithful few now comprehend that he writes his gospel not only in the Quran the Bible and in within uh, the words of his dove of love his everlasting gospel but he's also written his word in the trees and the flowers and over the clouds and over the stars and the clouds of hatefulness are but dust under his feet so understand that he alone is the expositor of faith the observer of all and the critic of all selfishness for he now allows people's souls to finally be seized by something that they can't even see as they're moved deeply by his spiritual wind of blessedness the wind is full of his blessedness and the tide of new understanding of his love's greatest adoration is at hand so let the people of love beware of nobody more than themselves the greatest jihad is fighting the evil within uh, for everyone carries their worst enemy within them who always cries hard to be free but praise the Lord God evermore for he is the elevated the credible and the reliable one who easily forgives any fool who's afraid of the dark but never shall he go easy on unrepentant sinners who are afraid of the dove's brightest light of love as they cower in the darkness like demons for the dove's light is the most marvelous light of God and a foggy image of the Quran and a mirror image of the Bible but the fogginess of that has been across all scripture uh, has been uh, a, a veil uh, over the kingdom age Muhammad also kept God's mystery of Revelation 10 and the veil uh, has now been pulled and the wise may shine as the stars for up until now we have only been seeing in part and knowing in part Muhammad foretold he said in the uh, in the hadith he prophesied the kingdom age just as surely as Paul did in Hebrews 8 I uh, read it and because all faith is now obsolete uh, Muhammad said the day was coming when his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam and it is Islam the new name of Israel Isaiah 62 2 that God foretold when they would receive their kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 his message of Malachi 3 one that prepares his way and Muhammad said it would happen because of a book coming that proves God's mercy and removes all spiritual distortions and he said that uh, there would be nothing left of the Quran except its outward form 
because of this book proving God's mercy. And he knew that prophet was behind them and not in front. He said there would never be an important mess. Uh, I'm a messenger. That's all I am. I am the messenger of Jeremiah. And, uh, but that kingdom age covenant has never been given unto mankind. It was foretold to be given in the latter days as it has now been. And so know that the dove's life is, is uh, no more shall there be any uh, a fogginess to any uh, of the holy words uh, since the revelation of God's love has come for the end times and that God himself has prophesied in the word of God, line by line, precept by precept. Let all those hearing the words of this words being read run Habakkuk 2, for it is time that the wheat can only grow with the wheat and tares can grow only with the tares. The rest of the world is tares, all those condemning one another. The wheat shall come with me, so it's time to leave the safety of the shores and come out to the deep where our treasure of excellence is. And he's calling each of our names as if we were the only one. So it's time to skip ahead and it's time to obey his voice of love and know that God himself has prophesied all of this and his word of love is now shining forth the purest essence of his very own holiness. So it's in time to envision this great last move of God's love. So stand still and see the utter magnificence of the salvation offered from the Lord within the eyes of your minds. For they're all believers of hope, peace, and love in motion uh, as children may envision the Holy Spirit right now gushing forth many rays of cone-lit golden light of the greatest resplendence of uh, charity in motion, benevolence and beneficence, the great ocean of his adoration for us all. And then shall the enlightened brethren of Emmanuel, our God, with us again soon stand witness to the awesome peak of that spectacular light of blaze which extends out of the Lord's loving breast. For within his heart has been the hiding of God's limitless power. And all those looking to Isa Yeshua, Jesus, Jesus, Isa Yeshua, who is Hamashiach, uh, are returning. Messiah of all mankind. He stands upon his great white throne, putting in the sickle of his love, uh, which is the great white cloud of Matthew 24. And he has sent me forth, the everlasting gospel writer, the writer of the flying scroll that will destroy houses and unloving hearts from the inside. It, it's an inside job. And the kingdom of God has come uh, with clarity so that no more shall anyone ever uh, only know in part. Absolute time is now to embrace, uh, so that uh, the Lord's whitest dove of love wings can constantly, lovingly start unfolding around all obedient people as a gentle cocoon of blessedness for all going in the direction of his peace. And the Comforter may soothe many souls as his refining fire is poured out to burn down this earth and the circle thereof in the name of love. And then all of those following that great uh, bonfire of his love ablaze so that all the universe can be uh, experienced the shock and awe of rocks crying out. Uh, then we will all have assurance that we were loved by the world's Messiah even before they ever chose to recognize his adoration. And as a result, every loving soul shall be transformed so that we can be gathered up within that marvelous cone of his released Shekinah glory anew for the kingdom age while being covered by the Lord's Yeshua's comforting manner of his most tender embrace of that most holy light of the universe who never had any end nor any beginning. Uh, and even though the Lord God Almighty's light of the ages, uh, it shall always be piercing and most vivid. And even though its dazzle won't be too blinding so that his people can be blessed.
seeking to hold it. So it is time to behold the prophecy of new revelation of Christ's honesty. And it's time to uh, hear the Lord's truth and uh, to hear it clearly. And it's going to resound from this channel. This is the only kingdom age channel that shall ever be. So love from love, hope from hope. And make sure that you put on your dove of love hat and keep your heart aflame with his love. Then you'll be doing good, I promise you. And we 